is Judy Lubis. I'm from Malaysian Borneo and I'm currently doing the master's course in environmental change and management. I'm here because of the Chepening Scholarship Scheme. It's a UK government scheme for emerging leaders from about 118 countries. My first degree was in biological sciences and I specialized in primate conservation. I was trained as a conservation biologist uh, doing orangutan field work. I chose the master's program at ESA because I've heard so much about it. It has a really good group of alumni from around the world, from different backgrounds, and they're doing very interesting things. And I did some research and I found out it's one of the most prominent uh, environmental uh, change and management courses out there in the world. So I just had to come here and find out for myself. Uh, my name is Sean Lemon. I studied arts and science and economics in my undergraduate and before coming here I also did a master's in planning. We have 27 students in our class from 22 different countries. Just bringing that kind of international expertise and, and they're all from different disciplines as well. So you just get all kinds of different cultural backgrounds and, and you get exposed to ideas that you wouldn't normally um, be exposed to if you weren't in this sort of international kind of program. I really appreciate the breadth of courses that you're able to study within the ECM program. It's extremely interdisciplinary, but then there's also the opportunity to go deep and uh, specialize in certain areas that you're interested in. So we've got everything from you know, the earth system to ecosystems to environmental economics, um, human systems, uh, sustainable responses. Uh, the environmental economics course was very at home to me, whereas uh, courses more in the sciences were quite new. And you know, I, I've read a number of IPCC reports on climate change, um, so I understand the main trends and the drivers, but um, before this course I never really understood you know, how their models are built, what variables are taken into account, and, and the level of uncertainty that we still have with a lot of these models. Um, so that, that was one major learning point. I think another is how do you deal with this uncertainty? Because I mean, there's un uncertainty in everything you do, and there's trade-offs in everything you do. So you need um, techniques and, and management strategies to sort of make decisions given these deep levels of uncertainty. And so. so we've been on a total of five field courses around the UK and also Brussels. And that has been very useful because we not only learn from a classroom setting, but we're able to go on the ground and understand, for example, what is the cultural landscapes? What, what's the issue uh, about ocean governance? And also talking to people working in the EU. So that has been very, very much an eye-opener, and I feel also a great strength about this course. Mm. So there's so many op other opportunities to listen to lectures from different departments, mm. and also uh, visiting professors and interesting speakers. So in the beginning of the course as well, we heard from Al Gore, but also from predictioners who work on the ground and tell us firsthand how difficult it has been, uh, for example, implementing energy solutions. ECI has a lot of the leading researchers in a number of important fields related to the environment, so energy, water, ecosystems, food, and uh, having the opportunity to attend lectures that are, that are taught by, by these preeminent scholars, and you know, they, they explain the papers they've written, and it's something that I don't think I could get anywhere else. One of the, you know, the main assets of this course is that you learn to see problems through, through the perspective of an, of an economist, of an environmentalist, of an anthropologist, um, of a scientist. And so that, that really lends itself to working in a number of different fields and collaborating with a number of different people or organizations. Um, it's been such an enriching experience that I feel that when I go back, I'll be doing things perhaps a little more differently than I thought I would be. And also looking at issues in a more systemic uh, process. So often we're focused on, for example, looking for local solutions or regional solutions that we forget that everything that's happening around us is also global. I'm interested in heading back to Borneo and studying more about how my communities revitalize particular cultural beliefs in response to environmental stress and how we also adapt to this. I know the experience here has been so immensely beneficial and helpful mm -hmm. that when I return home, it, it's going to help me with my work, with my professional work and, and 
take me to a level that I haven't been before. And not only that, but the, the amazing contacts that I've gained, not just from my classmates, but also from my professors. And I know this will take me further on. Once we graduate from this course, we already have this ready core of alumni who we have already made connections with and we can collaborate you know, in the future. It's one of the unique parts about this course is that you bring, you bring people from across the globe together for one intensive year. Um, you expose them to you know, all, the, all, these different, all these different ideas and theories, frameworks, management strategies, um, and then they go back and it's almost like you're pollinating the world with a, with a group of leaders and you know everyone wants to to go home and whether it's through business you know NGOs or, or government um, make change and now we have the tools to do that. The ECI Masters Environmental Change and Management has been at the forefront of international environmental education for the last two decades. Today it is one of the world's most highly regarded and sought after interdisciplinary graduate environmental training programs. The ECI is well equipped to offer this training as an internationally respected research establishment that collaborates with over 400 partners across 40 countries and employs around 60 researchers. Why don't you find out what the ECI has to offer you?